Okay, well, hello there, YouTube. I've been pretty busy doing the uh, demolition of the interior of my bus. I think uh, some of you might have seen some of the other videos I've got on here. and It's been quite a job. Uh, there was an awful lot of damage on the inside, water damage, and all of that water damage, probably 99% of it had come from a, well, bad, multiple bad leaks at every window location. Every window uh, had literally been taken out, and they had blanked over the windows. And the way they had blanked over the windows was they put a plywood insert into the window opening and came over the top with a long uh, piece of uh, sheet aluminum and screwed and riveted it to the body and had tried some caulking apparently but it obviously over time it just didn't work and so terrible window damage everywhere or window leaks everywhere causes a lot of window a lot of um, floor damage so as part of my purchase I bought five windows and they're old original PD4104 windows and uh, they had come out of various buses at some point so they did not these are not the windows that came out of this particular bus so what I thought that I would do was uh, as I refurbish these windows and put new uh, felt sliders and uh, gaskets in and I'm going to replace the front two windows first the left one the first one and the right one the first one I call them L1 and, and, and R1 and um, and uh, so as I do that I'm going to um, document it and show how I did that how I put them in how they how they go in it's pretty simple but we'll talk a little bit more about the specific windows in a little bit and um, I'm going to try to take multiple videos and edit them together and try to make one that flows together and shows the whole project, the window, Windows part of the project all the way through. So uh, I'll go, uh, go on and do something else now, but I'll be back uh, later on with additional parts of this one. So everybody take care and see you in a bit. Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about these windows. Um, what this is is a PD4104 window. It is uh, not out of my particular bus, but this came out of one of the buses that is similar to it, to another 40, uh, 4104. And what it is, is these buses are, they consist of an extruded aluminum rail um, frame that's obviously extruded and then at some point bent around in the jig probably somehow in manufacturing and then brought together on the ends and then there's a little uh, plate that joins it with screws in it and it has two pa panels or sashes there's one for the front half and one for the back half and they both slide in a rail along the rail on the inside here and there's a rail on the back for the front sash and then there's a rail on the, on the inside of the frame for the back sash. And it slides in obviously this way. I've taken this one out for another reason. But um, So what we're going to do is take this apart. And we're going to take this front panel or the front sash out and clean everything up really well. And put new felt in the windows, in, in, the, in, the, in the panel itself, and then we put it back together and redo the rubber seal, and there's a seal that goes right in there, and uh, yeah, that big, and that groove right there on the outside groove, there's two grooves, there's a wide one and a narrow one, the wide one is the, there's a rubber seal that goes in there, and it looks like, um, it looks something like this right here, when it comes out, it's just a little piece, about, I don't know, less than half an inch, three-eighths of an inch maybe, uh, wide, and it fits right into this groove right here. And you put an adhesive in it, and then it kind of pressure fits up in there. And you, you put adhesive along, I did it about every foot or so. And then 
these, this is a replacement. As you can tell, it's a lot different. And it's got a funny little ridge on the side that I trim off with a, with a, uh, with a razor blade. But it goes in and this, so this is the, the, the material that's available now. This, these are not even available anymore. And if this is all dried out anyway, you can see. See how it's all cracked up and broken. So uh, we're going to do that. And the original felt that was on the inside of the window panel, I'll show you what that looks like. This is what, this is a, a panel that I'm not going to be using. This had felt in it, and it sat right in that little groove right there, and it rode along the rail on the runner on the inside of the frame, and it would slide back and forth. You, you, but now that you, there's another one you get now that's, it does the same function. So, anyway, so that's really the only two key things. But, uh, so we're going to do that. And, uh, and if I think of some more things, just some little tricks about how to get it apart and best order to do some things in. I've done one already, I put it in the bus, it worked fine. This is number two, the second one, and this one's gonna go on the left side. And there is a difference in the right and the left side, so if you're having to order windows, or you're having to try to uh, source used windows somewhere, make sure you know if you're getting a left or a right, you need to go and plan your layout where you want your windows so you can order two left or two right or three right or whatever, whatever the combination might be. Um, I wound up with not exactly the combination of windows I want, but I'll, I'll figure something out with it. So anyway, so uh, that's it for right now. So we'll tackle this and yeah, maybe tonight and maybe tomorrow and uh, hopefully Throw this one in the left side of the bus on Tuesday if I can swing it. So, uh, see you in a bit. Okay, well, here we are. And what we're going to do now is take these panels out of this window here. This particular window has the rear glass, for some reason, has like a frosted glass of some sort. Now, I don't know why that might have been, um, unless it was came out of a conversion that maybe had a bathroom um, that was somewhere somehow it was in the in the bathroom and then maybe the kitchen in the front you know from about midway forward I, I don't know I have no idea but um so I disconnected this vertical tie here and as usual which is not uncommon the ones on the bottom a lot of times have a lot of water damage or no, corrosion because of rain water. Uh, and uh, for some reason they seem to be susceptible and uh, corrode and I, I run those screws off. So if I use this frame later, I'll have to grind that down and drill that out again. But that's not, uh, that's not uncommon. So. Okay, so we're going to see if we can spread this apart. Okay, so see it comes apart pretty easily. So I'll go ahead and try to, I think I'm just going to go ahead and just lift. Because the one I want is this one in the front. Just lift that frame off of it. And then that kind of slides back in. All you have to do. And I want to look at this glass here to see if it can go. In another frame so um, this this actually looks pretty good it depends on whether I use it or not I may have to take this handle off then it may have to be put on the inside so that it would be a front panel so uh, see this was a rear panel on a right hand window and I want to make it a front panel on the left hand window so the a uh, little handle would have to be taken off and put this bolted through. Um, the, the panels are interchangeable front to back. It's just that the frames, you can't interchange left and right. So, okay, so 
I'm going to now put that up on the saw horses and clean it up and then look to see which of this between this one and the two others see there's one right there and there's one right there which of those two panels I want to use in this frame that's the left hand frame or that frame. So what I've got is two frames um, and one, two, three, four panels. And then I have another window that I can use as well. So, um, okay. So that's what uh, that's what we're doing. I'm working in my garage. One thing I was going to say too is that if you do much window work because they're fairly heavy, is make sure you have a place where you can just do it um, and and not be bumping things and uh, make sure you have plenty of room to work because they're fairly heavy and a little bit bulky, and um, it just makes it a little bit easier. My shop out, I've got a shop out back with lots of projects in it, multiple motorcycles and minis and. I, I do a lot of stuff, but there's just not room to spread out like this. So this is my garage, and it's a, a hot North Florida day today. And uh, I tackled that big hedge for a little while today until I couldn't do it anymore. I started over here on the on the left of my garage, on the other side of that wall, but that hedge has gotten out of control. Obviously, my yard needs mowing. So I have lots to do. I always have things to do. Okay, uh, we'll come back more later. Okay, so I got the panel out. It got cleaned up a little bit just to check it out. And uh, now what I'm going to do is put the felt in. And the felt simply inserts in. You don't have to use any kind of adhesive. I guess from uh, US Coach and uh, Luke uh, told me what I needed and really it's really simple it comes uh, he sends it uh, in about the right length maybe an extra couple of feet and the trick that I found is to start up here on up here to where my right thumb is so start right here but the first thing you want to do just line it up with one edge. Now this, I've cleaned it out with the wire brush as well. You want to make sure you clean it out real good because there'll be remnants of the old stuff in there. Okay, and get it with about a two inch overhang, like so on this right hand side over here. And just get the length about right. And then start on this crown of this bend. You don't want to start at one edge and work around. You want to start at the crown in the bin. So what I found is just to take something relatively light but with kind of a hard surface and just put it right in the edge and just pop it, just snap, snap it like that and it just goes right in. You don't have to get it too hard. And when you get to the handle location you may have to wiggle it around a little bit to get it to fit in there. Um, but it'll go in it and with it. And if you got any bends in it, if it's been dented, it might be a little hard to get it in there like you want to, but you can you can work it in there. It'll go in. Okay, and it just goes up to about maybe a, a six eight to an eighth of an inch. Jam it in there. 
But just start on the crown because what happens is if you start down there and when you're working this way, if you push this in, it puts just enough slack in it and it pushes it out here. And you have to walk it all the way back around there. Okay, so it's going to work just fine. can show you you can see you just bump it and it goes right in I can't hold the camera and guide it but at the same time but anyway you, you get you kind of get the you get the point so anyway so that's going to go in fine when you get to the end here there'll be about this much hanging over there there'll be about two three inches hanging over over there and uh, I take side cutters and just clip it flush and it's ready to go and then spray it on the inside stand it on the edge start at the crown spray it let it run down soak all of that inside the felt really well on both sides and use that uh, blaster silicone that works really good so that's it and then what we'll do the other one as well and then tomorrow um, I'll uh, show you how to put it in to the frame, that frame there, and I've already cleaned it up real well, and then we'll put the uh, seals in it. Now there is a vertical seal that goes between the panel, the, between the window panels. Uh, I couldn't find that, but that can be replaced in the bus, so you can get to it with no problem. Um, and I'll eventually locate. There's a seal that goes, both of them have it, and it just seals off so you don't get rain and wind blowing in between the windows. So, anyway, so that's it with the panel. I'll finish up and, uh, and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll make another run at it tomorrow. All right. See you guys around. Okay, so I'm back with the windows here next day and it's uh um it's, it's come along i went ahead and put the two panels in uh I, I actually forgot to video take that but um it's real simple it's just like i had said earlier with the uh the panels you just you just put the felt uh runner or slider and start at the crown of the bend and just uh, tap it in with something light uh, you can do it with your hand but um it, if you, it seems to just kind of snap it in place better with something light like the handle of that uh, wire brush that I was using so um, the next thing and then it's ready to be popped in to the uh, into the bus is uh, the uh, this is the weather stripping and the weather stripping comes in one long length and I get it from uh, Luke at uh, at uh, US coach and uh, it's not the exact one that came you know that was uh, OEM for the GM products back then I guess uh, for the buses back then but um, it's it's close and what it does is it's, it's one thing that to be noted about this is um, and I'll see if I can set this down and um, let you look at my wall of junk as I maneuver this around um, it has a little ridge and I don't know if you can see that or not but it has a little ridge this is the cross section and it's got two uh, kind of uh, wipers that that make the seal and then this right where my thumb is um, is what goes into the groove on the window channel into the window frame rather and this particular one has this little ridge right here where my index finger is right at the tip so you can see that the I'll try to hold it still you can see that the uh, the cross section of the weather stripping or the seal is just a little bit different um, because the groove that is in the window frame is actually uh, just a flat um, recessed rectangular groove so you can Im imagine that when you put this in that it's not going to sit 
flush with the bottom of the groove in the frame. I'll show that in just a second. So what I do is I take it and I take a razor blade and I just go right down, I turn it over like that and I take the razor blade and I just very uh, gently and slowly just cut that little groove off, that little ridge off right there, right where my thumb is. And then it gives you more of a flat surface and it just sits in there perfectly and uh, you can put some adhesive about every you know eight inches to a foot just a little a little dot about maybe that long and it just helps hold it in there so um, and then you just basically cut it and uh, put it in there and put the adhesive in and it'll uh, let the adhesive get tacky I use a 3M adhesive and uh, you let it get tacky and then when it goes in it sits it sits perfectly now there's one little trick and I'll show one more thing but um, so here's the groove I'm talking about is this one right here and you can see I've got it cleaned out um, best I could with a screwdriver and some sandpaper and a wire brush just to get the residual out so um, now this is the bottom of the window okay so I'm gonna go around to the the top of the window and around here is the part that gets a little bit tricky because you have to figure out how to come across the top of these hinge attach points and those little four screws that hold it in there and then you got ridge seal ridge uh, seal groove and then you've got to lay it across the top of that and I tried a couple of things with the first one that I did I'm gonna try something different this time is I'm gonna try to just do one continuous cut you know one continuous piece and probably start it right along in here somewhere I want the cut the cut ends to come together at the top so it's less apt to leak and this is the top of the frame so I'll probably cut it right about here and just come all the way around 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 back to here and cut it butt it up right there um, and I put like I said I put the three in sealer in here about every foot or so just a, about two inches of it and I believe with my first experience is I believe that when you pull across here you'll have enough adhesive that will hold it fairly flush fill this up with some adhesive and then you know of course some adhesive across here and all the way around and even if it comes up a sixteenth or maybe an eighth of an inch when you compress it into that window frame especially if you soak the weather stripping a little bit or the seal it will uh, it'll, it'll just push right in there so um, it's not as hard I think I made it harder to do than necessary on the first one but other than those that little trick there it's real simple um, and uh, I'll show you when I get ready to install this I'll show you my little rig I built to uh, to let me hang this one to like the, I did the other one by myself um, I was didn't have a helper that day and I think it's uh, it can be done you just have to plan it out ahead of time and, and I'll show you a little trick so okay um, that's it and uh, we'll uh, I'll get this seal glued in place and let it sit for a little while and um, in the next day or two as I get ready I get time to to get out to my place to put this window in um, it should go in with no problem and I'll try to videotape the installation okay everybody have a great day later from Florida